So I came across this video of this kickboxer, his, I think his name is Andrew Tate, and he said some really interesting things in regards to Islam and why he believes Islam is the religion of the future. Islam fixes a lot of the problems that men are car currently facing. Yeah. The problems we're discussing on this show, Islam yeah. fi fixes all of them, mm. right? That's the first thing about Islam. And I'm not a Muslim, right? If I had to choose a religion, I would, because I live in an Orthodox Christian country, I go to the Orthodox Christian church. I donate $20,000 a month to the church in the country okay. I live in. The church, okay. the church in Romania is very powerful and I like having church friends. So mm. I give them a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. So I would guess I'm an Orthodox Christian. But if I had to bet on one religion as if I were betting on the stock market for the future, you have to bet on Islam. Mm. The, because Muslims are intolerant. And I'm, not, and I'm not saying that disrespectfully. Because if you're tolerant of everything, then you stand for nothing. Yeah. Right. As you guys saw in the clip, and I'm going to give my thoughts on this, but let me also mention, I'll link the full video in the description below. And I also need to mention that I may not agree with everything he said and all of his analysis completely. Um, but nevertheless, I think what he says in the beginning is quite profound. That he says Islam is intolerant. And what he means by Islam being intolerant is not in a negative way, but instead in a quite a positive way. And that is that Islam stands for something. Whereas the world that we live in today literally falls for anything. And it's true. If you don't stand for something, if you don't have principles, then you will literally fall for anything. And anything goes. And if anything goes, then what does that mean about our lives? Principles are what people need are what the world needs. This postmodern climate that we are a part of today is leading people, in particular men, to a very dark place. There is no direction, there is no goal, there is no purpose, there, is, there are no principles. There's nothing to live by or live for. And this renders life absolutely meaningless, pointless. And people are looking for order, they are looking for direction. And as I mentioned in one of the previous videos, even in the United Kingdom, a lot of people, a lot of people are coming to Islam. And I, and I highlight in that video why, what I believe the reasons behind that are. But just to quickly mention some again, it's that Islam gives principles. It gives you a direction. It gives you a code. It provides you with spirituality. It highlights and clarifies and establishes the meaning of life. And these are all the things people are looking for. So I encourage people to look into Islam, men and women, because Islam caters for both in a very special and unique way. And it's a way that is given by our Creator, by God, not by another man, woman, ideology, whatever else may be out there. It's not subjective. It's not ephemeral. It's a way of life outlined for humanity by their Creator. I'll leave you guys with that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, take care. Assalamu alaikum.